All right, I'm gonna show you how to fix the problem going on if your shower is getting hot or getting cold and um, you have a single unit here instead of the three separate knobs, then I wanna show you how to fix that problem. Okay, with these units, there's two separate parts that actually do the work. All right, so I'm gonna pull this off. I already have the screws loose. Okay, this front piece right here where the, that the screws actually go into, this is going to be the cartridge. This is what turns the water on and off. And usually what happens here is either it will break this pin in here. So this will spin all the way around. See how it stops? If it breaks, it'll spin all the way around. Or the other thing happens is when it breaks, it'll actually leak water from the front here. Okay, so from the back, this is what we're going to be replacing today. This is called the pressure balancing unit. And what this does is exactly what it says. Okay, you got a hot and a cold input here on the back. And then this balances the hot and the cold. So if you want warm water, you can turn it up straight, mix it with warm, hot and cold even. You know, so what's going on right now, if you turn it on slightly, it'll get cold. You turn it to hot, it'll get hot. But once you go to turn it back down, it won't, it won't mix and it won't go back cold, it'll stay hot. So this is how we're gonna fix this today. The first thing you wanna do is go in here on our units. This is how you turn the water off at the cartridge. Right here in here, this is the hot and cold. It's just a big flathead. Yours may be different. You can see a lot better now. This one and this one, I've already turned that water off. So I'm gonna go in now, I'm gonna pull these four screws off and then this whole cartridge will pull out. And the, since we're not replacing this front cartridge, then all I have to do is pop. I won't have to remove the screw in here because sometimes this can be a pain getting this front piece disconnected from the cartridge itself. So we're just going to leave that because we're not going to replace it today. All right, we got these screws loose. So what you want to do now is just pull this straight out. Like I said, we're not even going to disconnect any of this but you can see this is the cartridge and you can see this little rubber gasket stayed. I want to make sure we don't lose that. I'm going to want to put it back and just a, just a little tip. And this is just for me and nobody else I've really seen do this, but this is a pair of oil filter pliers used to change oil filters on cars. And they come in real handy when you're doing plumbing work because a lot of plumbing stuff is oversized. You see, I can get right here and grab this. And I can wiggle it right on out. All right, as you can see right there, for some reason, and I don't know why, the water did not turn off when I turned it off here. Which is kind of very strange because once I pulled this cover off, it should have shut out. So it really doesn't make sense why it waited until I pull this the, the start shooting water but this is a, the second time I've had to do it while the water was actually running because one time it was like this this is a hotel and I can't close the rooms down if I couldn't cut the water off in the middle of the night and the guests really needed it fixed so it can be done with the water on it's just a, a lot better if the water is off and especially if like you were upstairs and then the water would go in here and it would leak and it would mess up the ceiling downstairs so in that situation i would really hate to do it with the water on but you see we got it fixed right now we see which is crazy the water is still not turning on when i do this so i'm gonna go now we're gonna turn the water back on on the inside Let's see what we got. All right, that should be it. So let's check our water. All right, so we got cold water. I'm gonna check it. We're here at meat. All right, I'm gonna turn it to hot. All right, you can feel it getting hot. All right, so now before, when I went back to cold, it stayed hot. Already you can hear both sides are running because the water pressure goes way up. Back to cold. All right, so now all we have to do is 
put our cover back on and that's it. And you can see this is the old pressure balancing unit. You can see it, it blew this piece completely apart. I really appreciate you guys for um, letting me get up to 30 subscribers. Um, to, a, to a lot of people that might not be much, but to me that means a lot, you know. I have 30 people just take the time and watch every video you drop. And there's a lot of other people who, who are watching that aren't subscribed. I really appreciate you all taking the time. And I hope that I've taught you something. I hope you took something away from my videos. I, I hope it's not one-sided. And um, that's what I'm here to talk about today is... My, I know so far it's been really an RC channel. But the main thing I like about RC is fixing the stuff. And there's a lot of other things that I have the capacity and the knowledge to fix also. And I would really like to share that information with y'all if that's something y'all would be interested in. So I hope that you don't unsubscribe or get mad if I start posting videos of other things because hopefully this can help us all. You know, most of the people watching are, you know, men between the age of 30 or 55 like myself. And, you know, uh, everybody looks up to us to make sure everything's going. You know, we have to be the breadwinners. We have to be the repairman, the mechanic. We have to be the plumber, the electrician. We have to we have to take care of our families and our homes and you know that's something that I feel like I could help everyone with and I hope y'all stick around. I have uh, every day I'm I'm focusing on different things with my job and um and then in my personal life also because I, I I try to be an entrepreneur at home, you know, fixing cars or four wheelers, ATVs, flipping them, house repairs, and I hope you guys are. I hope you guys will stay along for the journey. I hope you I hope you enjoy what's in store.